Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I want to show you guys these Art to Fi markers that I got to uh, review, to try out, and I'm so excited. Now I do apologize. I'm recording on my phone in my kitchen. My art room, the whole downstairs flooded and my art room got destroyed and so did partial of my uh, family room. So everything is in such a complete uproar. All my stuff is all over the place. So I want to do this video. Um, this company has always been very good to me, sending me cool things. And so that's what I'm going to do. Now, this comes in a, uh, it's like a package like this. And I already kind of opened it. The bow was real pretty, but you know, I had to open it to see. <laughs> and it comes in a really pretty uh, covered like a package and of course you open it up and this is what you get now I'm gonna show you it's gonna be a little rough but we'll get there and this is what they are you can find these on Amazon I'm gonna link them down below these are 48 basic color fine and broad tips the expert series from Artify art markers now I've had their Copics they're well they're not Copics they're the Copic uh similars i guess familiars but they are alcohol ink markers and i've had those before they're wonderful um so we're gonna try this now i'm gonna set this up better so we can record um i was trying to get emily to do it for me but she's not feeling great so um this is the colors these are the colors look how gorge and i'm gonna try them on mixed media paper and in uh, an art coloring book. So I thought that would be fun to play around, see how they are, see how they work. Of course, I use these in mixed media. I'm not a big colorer. I love to color, but um, we'll see how these work. And I will be back and we will get on to getting on. Okay, so we're gonna try. I have a very uh, Beauties of Nature coloring book. And these are very big, so you guys can see them on there well. Um, I was going to do my Beauty of Har, but I know a lot of people don't like that. And I don't want to get uh, Shyla upset. All right. So, I'm going to take, this is, oh, what number are you? Oh, it says Art Marker, Born for Drawing. This is R105, called Sea Urchin. And I'm going to use the thick part first and we're going to try it on here. I'm going to go and outline this. See if we can get some shading in there. I hope you guys can see this good. Because that's what I want to see is the blending. And then I'm going to go in with R416 Tulip Pink. I'm just going to Go there and do the opposite. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm just doing the opposite so we can see how both these colors blend. They're beautiful colors. Um, so it also comes with a blender. That's what I'm excited about. So now I'll take this one more time and then I'm just going to draw in here like that. Okay. Oh, I can't believe my art room's done. Okay, so this is the blender. Zero. And this has both sides as well, but I'm going to go in with this. Doesn't really smell like anything. And I'm going to blend these out and see what exactly. I like to blend like this before I put other colors on, but this is... I like to put the blending solution down, but I know other people blend with it. You do whatever way you want to do it. I think, I think it's completely fine. And then we'll see how that dries. I like doing, I like putting the blending solution down. Now, do you use a little bit more? Maybe, maybe not. Nobody's really tested it, and I don't know if I could test it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Dries fast. Let's see. Now you can see here, you can see a little bit of the differences. Like right here, the dark and the light. I hope you can, let's see. Yeah. So I'll take a little bit of the blender, especially on this one, and I'm just gonna go right on the tip of it. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. See, I would love these with, um, you know, to do faces and stuff in the, oh, this would blend the highlights and all that really nice. I'll do one and then have to show you guys. Again, I'm really sorry. I can't do this in my art room appropriately. I have to really figure out a way to set up here. And then this one you can see is the light. Mixed with the dark. Oh, I love these already. I'm going to tell you right now. So what I'm going to do is going to give this a second to dry because um, now you can see it went through. This is thin paper. I don't expect any different. Um, this won't bother me. I'll just go over it. These are just pictures of um, the, like if you want inspiration to, you know, color them and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I don't care. If I, if I wanna color this, I'm gonna color this and not worry, or I'll put a piece of paper in between, which you can definitely do. And then to get a twofer, if you put a piece of your mixed media paper, watercolor paper, printer paper, go buy cheap printer paper, printer paper, put it in between. And then when you're done coloring this, what you're gonna have is a mixed media background or collage paper to rip up, but that's a whole other video. Let's see, is she drawing? Ooh, okay, see that? Yeah, it blends, it, they blend very, very nice. Now mind you, if I didn't have one hand, I would probably do a lot better, but they blend nice. So that's in the coloring book. But what I'm really anxious about is on my mixed media paper. Look, I just wanna show you this. Emily had gotten me this. Oh no, is it backwards? It looks like it's backwards. Oh God, did I do this the wrong way? Oh, I'll have to flip it if I did, but It's just delightful, like the clowns and skulls. You know, this is right up my alley. Okay, anyway, this is your, let's find it. Canson Mixed Media. Acrylic, watercolor, pen, and pencil. So this is marker, yes. However, I use marker on this all the time. So let's try a different color. I will be back in one second. Okay, I see that it's everything's recording backwards. Why? I have no idea. So we'll see how this comes out. If it doesn't go up or it does, who, who the heck knows. But what I'm gonna do is I grabbed all of the Roy G. Biv, right? And I had to grab this, it's pea green. P green and it looks really cool so I thought I'm gonna start with that and I'm just gonna draw you know our normal and I'm not going in you know I'm not going to do anything fantastical I want to see how dark the brown the black is and this is gonna be the tip okay I hope this isn't coming backwards, but we're just testing out the marker, so. Okay, and I'll do real quick, just like that. I love doing, you know, real easy, right? Okay, so that was black. Black has nice color. Uh, let's see the big, the big tip. Oh yeah. See how nice. Now let me look. Well, I want to color first, but let me look. Let's see. So far, so good. Not through 
and not on the other side. So that's really exciting. So let's do red lip and I'll do the small nib as an outline. I know I did black to draw it, but who the heck was thinking? Not me. I'll just go over it. Like we got some, and I'm going to grab the pink over here and see if I can blend it without using the blender. Oh, look at that. Okay, and I just kind of go up like that. You can always go and fix things. This isn't really me showing you how to draw. It's me just real quick trying my best. <laughs> but that blended nice. Not me edited it. It looks like there's, um, I could probably blend there a little bit more. I'm going to try with the pink, but I'll go over it with the other if it dries and I don't work. So I'm going to go in with some blue. We'll do another to see. We're just going to see how, you know, how it works. I'm going to do one eye blue. Now, my mom has two different color eyes, like Bowie. So, we're going to do two different color eyes. We're going to do blue and the green. I'm going to use the big tip on this one. I'm telling you guys, this these are really good. And then we'll do a on that. Okay? All right, so we got red, we got green, we got blue, we got pink. What are you? Oh, we got black, we got pea green, purple, orange, and yellow. So purple, we'll do like a little necklace. Just like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then what I'll do is maybe I'll just use the small one. The cats are going to fight now and just do some stars. So you can see, I mean, that they're full of ink. Real nice. See? Okay. And then, and then we're gonna mix two colors together. But now we have yellow. We'll give her a yellow highlight. <laughs> and give her some more hair. Now, if I go over this, what happens? This is green. Green and yellow make nothing, except a light green, and that's what I'm going for. Okay, so you blend on top, and then I'm gonna leave that dry, and we're gonna see. Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we have that, and then some orange. Um, give her some eyelashes I don't know kind of do that and I'm going to go down and make this thicker I'm using the thick one I'm going to use all of them the thick parts can you see Yellow and blue. Let's see what happens with these two. All right, I'm a beastie boy. Well, I'm assuming because this is a darker color. I'm just gonna put it there and then I'll put some yellow on it after that. It takes a second to dry. Let's see if we can get it green. Of course, blue and red make which that's pretty good, pretty good. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but it's good. And then green, Christmas colors, Christmas colors. I mean, these are, you can see, you can see. And then the black. Okay, now black there was a little dry. Okay, it's because I was doing sideways. Like I was doing like this. And it wasn't catching all of it. So that's okay. Still white, still white. Now I'm going to grab yellow one more time. And let's see what this. Now I can see it. I'm going to go like this. Of the yellow. Okay. 
Okay, clean that off just in case. I always like to clean that off. Oh, this, this color right here, send me every color of this color. I love it. I'm going to take the blender. And I'm going to blend. Let's see. And remember, this is mixed media paper. This is not um, like uh, slick paper. This is paper that, you know. Can you use it on here? Yes, but I think more than, like, I mean, the blending and all, I don't know. You know, I mean, you can play around and, and see, but I think because this paper sucks the ink in, um, you're not getting that nice blend from this. And I'm going to try it on something to see about the blend. But, I mean, you can see they're, they're very vibrant. They're very, very nice colors, but let's try, I'm sorry, people are blowing and it's leaves and all the things. So let's, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna do the blue and yellow on here. Now, of course, this is slick, as I like to call it, slick wreck. And we're gonna do yellow. And I'm gonna put, and these click together real nice. Here, I'm, nice, nice like that okay just a very click click oh come here now let's see the blending so i have this i wish you got more than one but let's see what happens here i'm gonna blend back and forth because sometimes I'll use these, if you ever saw any of my books like this, I always use these as palettes. Whether it's marker, now if I want to lift this up, oh, I see a real pretty, I'm going to do this. Let's see what this does. Real pretty around that, the uh, blue-green. I tell you, that's pretty. That's pretty. All right, I'm going to clean this. Always clean it so you, when you go to color again, you're not, you know, playing around. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Let's do um, let's do red and blue. Okay, I'm gonna go red. Can you see that? I hope so. And blue. Except this time, because I like the way it went, I'm just gonna stripe it. Let's do it like this. And let's see for a second if anything happens. Let's just all stare at it for a second. If I was on my computer, I could speed it up. I'm on my phone. Um, anyway. <laughs> but, I mean, look. Nice, right? Look at that. All right. So, that's settled in there. Let's do... I'm going to do the small part of the blender to see. And I'm just going to do a little like this. Little circle here. Bigger circle here. And let's see what happens. Clean my... Clean it, clean it, clean it. Let's see what happens. Should be purple. It isn't turning purple. It's turning, what is it? It's hard to see because it's so dark. I mean, even if I did, I wonder if I did blue. See, this is why I get stuck doing, I, I will spend hours playing. It's just who I am. Let's do red last, blue first. So I'm going to do blue to see if that makes a difference that you should do the dark one. Oh. Look at that. It got on the red, the blue. Let's see what this does. Like this. Okay. It does blend, that's for sure. Always make sure you try to clean because Okay, then we'll take the blender. Let's see, I'm gonna blend right here a little bit. So if I'm going, yeah, it definitely works better that way. If I'm going to go on another piece of paper, right? So I'm picking it up from here because I'm blending. Oh yeah, okay, so then I'm gonna pick it up. So I blended with the point, 
squished it up with that. And then I'm gonna go here. Let's see, is this a good place? Yes. Let's see. Look, look at the color blend. Yeah, that's perfection. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna clean it off for a second. I'm gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna pick it up. Let's pick it up and then we'll do here. Look at that. Yep. Get out your, your books. Let's do here. My dog's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why is it so exciting? And I'm gonna get more blue. Obviously you get more red, you get a, you know, a deeper, darker color, more. Look at that, it's a deeper purple. Oh, I love it. Now my dogs are gonna fight. So then if I go in with the red, I get more of a red violet. Look at that. So yeah, I wish I would have, um, now I've taken, and look, I don't, I'm not saying do this, but I love, you know, sharing things with you. I like to take Q-tips, look at this. Look at this color, come on guys, look at this. My dogs are like, why are you yelling at me? Look at that purple. Can you see it? Yes, you can. And then look at the blue, look at the color it mixed. Oh, it's delightful. Um, look, I'm not somebody, you know, I like to take a Q-tip, maybe a little bit of hand sanitizer or a little bit of alcohol. Um, or alcohol ink, you know, the alcohol ink blender, whatever you have, a little bit on a Q-tip, and you can blend if you run out of your blender uh, marker. Uh, but there's a million things, you know, you can do, but this is, oh, everything, everything, everything. I'm gonna do one more little stinking thing, just because I'm so excited for this. I love it. You just give it a second, and you get all these cool things. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do yellow, yellow and red yellow and red and go like that i can see it already kind of lifting there okay 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 let's see all right so going in here clean your thing and i'm gonna swipe it i'm squinching around because we're blending should I went in with yellow last? Maybe because red's so much darker and there was more. I mean, red first and then more yellow, but that's all right. Okay, it's all right. Guess what? Then we take some more yellow. Because what color are we making? I'm gonna do more yellow. There we go. And I'll even do it here. There you go, you see it coming. She coming, look at. Look at, look at that, so fast turning orange. I'm just gonna squinch in here, get that around. Now you can go in with your Q-tip, your paintbrush, whatever, and now you paint because these will dry. Look at that. And you just go in and you paint. So if I want it a little darker, I'll just pull some more of this red in. Look at me, making like a flower. Look at that, I just made a flower. And then let's go on the paper, just so you can see it. And that's all I picked up on there. Let's see, I'll pick up a little bit more. So, I'm loving them, I'm loving them. I will be using them. These are Artify. They are on Amazon. The link is down below. If you would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, and you don't want to, you know, be a member or whatever, uh, all you have to do is buy from my Amazon link down below. You don't have to necessarily buy these, although these are fantastic. But if you use my link, I get like, you know, 10 cents for everything you buy or whatever. And it does help me um, with bills and whatnot. So I'd really appreciate it, especially now since I have to, uh, get my rooms downstairs <laughs> back in order, in working order. So thank you, Artify. I love these and I will be using these a lot in my mixed media. And I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for bearing with me with this way to record. And um, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what 
battle somebody else is fighting you truly truly don't and just being a little kind to somebody especially when it's not you know nobody did anything for you um you know it's just the way to be i love you guys i'll see you in my next video Bye bye